Day weekend. We're uh, on the way to a track right now. Um, we're hoping for big things. Um, some changes uh, that I did since last time. We changed the cam. The cam, uh, I think, was a major hindrance. And because I was already there, I ended up doing some more th work. I ended up porting the heads. Not the porting heads. Porting the intake manifold. The heads just stayed there. The heads never came out the motor. So I ported the intake manifold. Um, they already were ported, but uh, I did some port work. I probably had like two hours worth of work prior. You know, I what did what I could in two hours, and I threw that intake manifold on. I ended up putting like a solid six more hours worth of work. So um, now you can say it's a, a fully ported intake manifold uh, on it. Um, so cam, fully ported intake. We changed the valve springs, put stiffer push rods, and then uh, the new MSD bots. So uh, I'm hoping that all those changes will give me a, a, a solid net gain. And um, hopefully enough to drop at least four tenths of a second to get me into the nines. That's that's the goal. And I think, um, and, and um, I think in another video, is, uh, there will be positive gains regardless um, why I picked the cam specs I did. I, I think I do a little bit more detailed video on that uh, in the future. Uh, things that we're gonna be testing today, hopefully if we get to test. Um, I'm gonna make some passes, and like I said in the previous video, we have this uh, polymer racing spacer, and I'll be uh, switching out the the four hole. I have a, just a normal straight four holes uh, uh, spacer, and switching to this one. So we want to see, you know, what kind of gain will I get just from a spacer. You know, so, and you know, not on the dyno, but what actually happens at the track. So, uh, rate of acceleration and other things will come to factors, a factor there. So, um, the next clip, we should be already at the track and we'll take it from there. Well, right where it sits there, our, uh, we ended up seizing our engine on the tow rig. So right now I unloaded the race car and uh, I'm gonna tow the tow rig with the race car into the track so that uh, it's not in the way. As you can imagine, we are not having the best of days, but we're gonna make the best of it. Wait, turn lemon to lemonade. Right. We told the to use a race car to tow the truck and trailer back this way. We passed tech, and we're just gonna we're just gonna send it. We're gonna see what happens. I have a friend. I think he'll be on his way. Two and a half hours, so he's a real one to uh, pick us up and. Uh, we're gonna go from there. Um, let's see if we do something cool. And it's up to this man. See this man? It's up to him to film a good video. If it doesn't come out good, we're gonna blame this guy. You can't blame me.
happened? The sugar, I think the push rod came off the, the sugar. I had no yeah. oil pressure. So you gonna send it? No, I had no oil pressure. No oil pressure? Okay. So, uh, what happened? I had no oil pressure. Um, I'm pretty confident I know what it was. I think the oil pump push rod, uh, uh, the backed off the distributor. The distributor started out with over the I put a thicker lane, intake lane, gasket. Lane, and I think raising the door. intake manifold up a little bit and long story short, uh, not enough uh, travel. Um, so, this is a distributor problem. And then we'll go from there. I'm pretty sure once the distributor is all set, we have oil pressure, and we'll go try and make another hit. Ash? Huh? No, no. Uh, so, we got it back together. Got the timing after the, the oil pump rod is all chewed up. We got it running, we got the timing set, we killed the battery, we took the battery out of a broken Suburban to, to get it running. Everything's running. We're just gonna go send it now and hopefully we get what we're looking for. We need something good to happen today. get bumped up the timing a couple of degrees from 36 to 38 and see if we see some type of improvement um, it kind of kind of was a little bit of a cow I mean I admit it, it, it didn't really pull the way I it sh probably should have so um, we'll see so I was blessed enough to have a, a buddy come up Two and a half hours, one to pick me up, pick up me up and my father and my sons, and uh, uh, then we latched, got back home, latched the truck up, and uh, so we made it back here. Um, so not the most of uh, a positive day for us right now. Um, you know the car went consistent. Uh, I guess I'll talk a little bit more about it in another video. Um, something's not perfect. I didn't get to test the, the 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 spacer. We had a lot going on today, so I'm sorry 
for uh, those of you that were hoping for some, uh, you know, more action and stuff. But hey, uh, this is racing and it's part of the hobby. I won't have to find a new uh, uh, daily driver or fits the one that I have now. So I got some things to uh, address. But that being said, this is Bro Joe Builds. Like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully uh, we have a next one soon.